Hello, I'm Nancy Williams. I'm here today to tell you a little bit about my original photography. Uh, I have been making note cards involved in this for about uh, 25 years. I started in 1996. I'd love to tell you a little bit about how I got started. Um, I was at a point in my life, I was happy with my job, happy with, with life, but I felt like there was just something missing. So I had several people ask me, well, what is your passion? Well, I wasn't quite sure what my passion was, and I, I, I just scratched my head and tried to think about it. But as, as it would turn out, um, we were at a National Austin Healy Rally, which happened to be at the Biltmore House. And I had been asked to help with the photography, and at that point, we're talking about film photography. I was taking pictures of people right and left, running them to the camera store, getting the prints made, and then going back and sharing them with the individuals. I had such a good time, and at the end of the week, when there's lots of different awards being given out, there were a couple of guys that decided that they wanted to give me a special award because I had made a difference. You put all that together, and it made me realize that I knew what my passion was. But then my question was, just what do I do with it? Well, I was, um, we're up in the mountains. I was um, headed, doing some shopping in a little shop in Black Mountain. Uh, I walked into the shop and I saw some note cards that a gentleman had done. And I thought about those note cards and thought, hmm, I bet I could do this. So I saw his name, his phone number on the back. I called him up and I said, excuse me, I would love to hear about your note cards. I do photography and I'd like to do some too. I live down in Charlotte so I won't be competing with you, but could you just tell me a little bit about what you do? Well, from there, I figured that out, and the rest is history. So let me tell you a little bit about my process. First of all, I take a small note card, five by seven card. I run it through the computer because I wanna put my logo on it. Once it's through the computer, check them, fold them up just like that. Then I take my, um, I take a photograph, and I actually sign it on the back a little bit, um, you know, to pres hopefully preserve the copyright. And then I spray them with photo mount, and I attach them to the card. The next step is to, I, I usually do that down in my basement or out in the garage. I bring them in, have to check each one to make sure that, um, you know, we don't have any photos hanging off or anything, and that they're straight. And then I take each one and I, I put a caption on them. For example, this one, I went to Clemson. This one says, Go Tigers. And then I, I sign the card. So after I do that, I put an envelope in the card. And then I apply a cell phone, cellophane wrapper. So that is my process for making the cards. Nancy, tell us about the different cards that you, you're showing us today. Okay, I have a lot of different categories, and let me just walk around, and I, I think that's a good way of just sharing a little bit with you. Here are some that I'm showing that are some of my church-related cards, which um, I've done a lot of different ch churches, and sometimes people ask me to do the photograph of a certain church. Then I have colleges and universities have some uh, holiday cards, which of course we're moving into Christmas. And then on the other side, I have, um, I have a pumpkin card for Thanksgiving and the fall season. We just finished Halloween, I had Halloween cards. But then there's a lot of other categories. There's my Charlotte series. I have some cards of Dilworth, our neighborhood. Here's some other Charlotte signs, some of the iconic Charlotte signs. And then here's some of my other categories. Again, here's Charlotte. Here's some whimsical cards. This one's called Wild Horses. Um, then we have, again, some of the Charlotte signs that are iconic. We have, this is a part of, I, I guess this card can code two different ways. It's the Ochre Coat Lighthouse. I use it in my Carolina series, as well as I have a series called um, the sunset and the sea. So it, it can really go both ways. This is also one that some people tell me they use as a sympathy card, and we'll get into that in just a minute. Um, here, I have a new wine series. I've had the wine series, but it's gonna be a part of my changed website. 
here's here's the corks it says pot the cork here's another one that says um good wine this is a quote by thomas jefferson which i shot out in napa at a winery called monticello here is uh i have a, a creature series this is my little dog austin who is now a therapy dog but uh, this was taken when he was just a little puppy and it's called easy rider but he he hates to ride in cars um so let's see what else I have. this is another one of my whimsical cards this is called bon voyage great for somebody who's been traveling on an extended trip or maybe moving to a new city uh, let's see what else we have here uh, this is a, again a part of the religious or church series this was shot at, over outside Paris at Chart. Uh, here's some others oh here's the American flag shot in New Mexico in the town of truth of consequences you can see that I like to travel um, oh flowers I love doing flowers in nature this was shot up in Minneapolis um, I love this iris. People use this for a celebration card. Some people use it for a sympathy card. Then I have um, the schools again. This is the Queen's Tower, and I have to tell you a story. When I, as I work on my website, I um, want to write a little bit about each uh, image that I, I photograph. I learned that this this tower was put up over at Queen's to hide um, the cell phone tower. Isn't that interesting? Uh, let's see what else I have. Uh, again, there's the flag, the flowers. Um, the, of course, North Carolina State, a different part of the college series. And then um, a celebration series. Here's fireworks. This is a good, this was taken 4th of July, so it's a good 4th of July card, but some people, again, use it as a birthday card. So, um, again, with my website, um, I'm going to have, um, I'm, one of the new areas is to, talk a little bit about special occasions um, and that's Valentine's, Easter, Mother's Day, Father's Day, anniversaries, weddings, um, just a lot of different holidays. So you can take the cards. I can even either I can even put on them like you know happy anniversary or whatever but usually you know that's for you to put inside because they are blank inside. The cards are very reasonable. They're four dollars each and if you go to a store you're gonna know that most cards are much more expensive than that so um, with any shows that come up people are always wanting different price points for for um, you know to give gifts and this is one where you can bundle up a group of cards put a ribbon around them and you've got a wonderful present for people one of the things that I hear is that people are um, you know they, they love the cards they hate to give them away and I'm going gosh you know it's easy to get more but um, in addition to that, one of, um, you know, some people ask me what inspires me. Well, I'm inspired because I hear people saying, you know, I gave somebody one of your cards and I heard that they framed it. It's on their wall. So, I mean, what could be a better inspiration for continuing to make your cards? And I do want to show you one of my new images, which I'm very proud of. This is called Charlotte Twilight. That's so this beautiful, is, Nancy. Yeah, this is one of my new cards. Um, again, here's a, a couple of the holiday cards. This one is the Charlotte sign in the snow. I call this Charlotte Chill. And then here, somebody asked me to see if I could put the snowman with the Charlotte sign. So this one I call Let Us Know, but it's also a good holiday card. Well, tell us about the other types of um, photography that you um, do you do framing? Do you um, have that for sale too? Enter? Okay, absolutely. Um, I do a lot of cards. You know, they're they're a great price point. But I also do larger, larger images. Here is a five by seven. This is called the Peaceful Heart Alpaca, and this was shot at an alpaca farm. Unfortunately, I'm not sure it's still in business or it might have relocated. But it's up in the mountains of Virginia. But this is a five by seven photograph that has been matted to an eight by 10 size. So all of the, the work that I do, the, the pictures will go in standard frames, which makes it less expensive for people in terms of framing. So um, anyway, here is a five by seven that's been matted. And then I've got a larger size. Um, this is the Charlotte sign. Again, one of my most popular pieces. And this, um, 
is an eight by 12 piece, which has been matted. I think this one might be four by 14 by 16 or 18 by 20, I'm not sure. But again, it goes in a standard frame. And I'll show you a couple more, at least one more of the larger ones. This is, again, one of my newer pieces. It's the Charlotte Skyline. Um, so that you can see it has a lot of the newer buildings in it. So I'm, I'm really proud of that. Um, so I do have different sizes. I also have some that I frame. For example, the Charlotte sign that I just showed you, I've got that framed as, um, I believe, an 8 by 10 and then also a larger, larger. Just to give you a little bit about the price points, I talked about the cards being $4. These are 25, the, the, the five by sevens matted. If they're framed, they're typically right here. Here's the tulip tree that was my next door neighbor's, out of my next door neighbor's yard. That I think runs around $70 if it's you know framed for you, it's a finished product. And then the larger ones that I had shown you, they are about, I believe $125. So that gives you a little bit about the price points of the cards and, and, and the, the other work. That's wonderful, beautiful photography. Thank you. And I want to add, it's not every day you can walk in and buy a car for $4. It's original photography. It's amazing. I use these all the time. <laughs> <laughs> um, can you tell us about the upcoming show? Yes, we're very excited. I'm um, a part of Charlotte Art Collective. We typically do two shows a year. Unfortunately, we missed our spring show because of the pandemic, but we came up with a great idea, and that is to have a virtual show, and that show will be live on Facebook, and um, it's, it's going live on November the 21st. It will be live until December the 5th. So I'm working really hard with, with, with um, a good friend and family member who's helping me redo my website, and I'm very excited about that. So I'll be hopefully coming live with a new website. Well, tell us what your web address will be. Yes, it's, it's the same as it is now. It's nwilliamsphoto.com. That's nwilliamsphoto.com. And also, to tell you a little bit about our upcoming show, the Charlotte Art Collective um, Holiday Show, you can find more information about that at our website, which is charlotteartcollective.org. Or you can find it um, on Facebook. Charlotte Art Collective, or on Instagram, again, Charlotte Art Collective. Well, thank you so much, Nancy. This is so informative. Thank you so much, Sharon. Sharon Elder, who's helped me out with this. I so appreciate her friendship and so appreciate her help. And I just want to invite you to come to our live show uh, or, or, you know, come visit our website, either through Facebook or Charlotte Art Collective, or even my personal website, which is, again, Nancy, excuse me, my website is nwilliamsphoto.org. Thank you very much.